it's Keto Mama here. It's the road to Thanksgiving. So I wanted to do some Thanksgiving sides so that way I can show you guys um, some keto sides that I really enjoy. Um, I am going to my sister's house so I'm not going to be having a full keto Thanksgiving. Um, I probably actually will have one for myself like afterwards and um, maybe I can take a picture of it and show you guys. But for now, I wanted to focus on doing some Thanksgiving recipes that I really love so I can get some of my fixes in now so I'm not like craving stuffing, mashed potatoes, things that I really just want to avoid eating. So today, we're making two side dishes. The first one is a holiday favorite. It's keto stuffing. Yay, I'm super excited about it. So um, I went to all of these and I got a loaf of keto bread. Um, you can use whatever keto bread you want. If you're doing pro protein sparing modified fast, you can use your protein sparing modified fast bread. Um, you can buy store bread. Um, whatever kind of bread you want, you can just use that bread. So I did do a little bit of prep work and I just toasted my bread up um, for about 15 minutes. I did it on, um, I cut up my bread into cubes, and then I added some Italian seasoning to it and drizzled some olive oil over the top. I put it in for seven minutes, I flipped it around, and then I put it in for another seven minutes. So we, what we have now is some nice breadcrumbs. I'm almost thinking that this is a really good idea for, um, like breadcrumbs for salad if I ever get a craving for that. So they look delicious, they smell good. They taste great, so that's our first step. The second step is what I'm doing right now, and that is to brown up my sausage. Um, I did a half a pound of regular sweet sausage and a half a pound of um, charisse. You don't have to do charisse. If you don't know what charisse is, it's a um, Portuguese sausage. So in the area where I live, there's um, many Portuguese um, people, and they are talking about it a lot on the radio about getting your chorice um, for Thanksgiving. So I thought that chorice sounded magnificent, and I was like, well, let's do it. So I have some sausage and some chorice. I'll show you what the chorice looks like. I'm just browning it up now. So it kind of looks like a regular sausage. That's the chorice. And um, then I just had regular sausage too. And we're just going to brown that up. Then when this is done browning, I have my other ingredients set aside. I have Zachy with me so I knew he was going to be a handful to film with. So I like to just have everything put together. So then the other thing I did was I chopped up one medium sized onion and five uh, stalks of celery. And here it is, it's ready to go in. So after I finish browning my sausage, it's actually gonna, so I don't dirty another pan, it's actually gonna go in the same pan. All right, so I put my charisse and my sausage in a bowl. I'm going to put that off to the side. I'm going to take my cut up onions and celery and a quarter cup of butter and throw it in the pan to cook it up. I'm going to add some seasoning to that. I'm going to add some Metropolitan Pizza seasoning. You don't have to add all these seasonings, just some sage, onions, and pepper, and some poultry seasoning will do. Um, I have some ground sage. A little bit of rotisserie chicken seasoning, but again, you can just use any poultry seasoning. And I'm going to just add a dash of garlic powder. And we're going to fry it right up in the same pan. Get it nice, get it so that way the celery is nice and tender. 
and I'll be right back with you guys. I'm gonna go check on the Brussels sprouts, flip them around, and I'll be right back. All right, everyone, we're back. We have our sausage in our bowl. We have our onions and celery that are nice and roast, uh, sauteed up. And we have our bread mixture. Yum! So we're going to add these all together. First, we're going to add the bread and the sausage. And then we're going to um, add them all to the baking dish. And we're going to bake them for another 30 minutes. Just all right, everyone. I don't know when that cut off, but I have my breadcrumbs in here with my sausage. And then I'm just going to add my sautéed onions and celery mixture. We're going to toss it all together. Looking good, smelling good. I am so excited to eat this. I have no idea. So I'm going to mix these together. So it's sausage and breadcrumb mixture, onions and celery. And then again, just to like kind of rehydrate the bread a little bit because I made it crispy like breadcrumbs, we are going to um, we are going to add some chicken broth. Yum! Look at that, it looks so good! We're going to put it in our glass baking dish. Alright, so now that they're mixed, I'm just going to add two and a half cups of bra. I'll mix about half of it in. And then I'll pour the other half. Yum! Looks so good. That's how it's looking so far. And then we're just, I have an egg that I beat and we're just going to pour that over the top as well. Okay, so after you have mixed your sausage and your breadcrumbs, after you have mixed your sausage and your breadcrumbs and your onion and celery together, you're going to put it in a 9x9 nine nine baking dish or something similar. And we're going to bake this. I'm going to add a bit more seasonings to it just because I like adding seasonings to it. But I'm going to add a little bit more pizza seasoning on the top. Some more Italian seasoning. And then I'm going to add sliced up another quarter of a cup of butter just to melt on top I am so excited about this. It smells so good. It's going to be delicious with the chorizo. Again, you don't have to use it, but um, that Portuguese sausage, I've been hearing them talking about it, and it's calling my name. All right. I'll see you guys back in a minute.
All right, good news. Our Brussels sprouts are done, and now it is time to make our pumpkin aioli. So now we're gonna make a really quick pumpkin aioli. So we're gonna take three tablespoons of pumpkin. I'll be a little generous. And three tablespoons of mayonnaise. You can add some sriracha, if you like it spicy, spicy pumpkin aioli. Can't get my mayonnaise out. Ah. All right, there we go. I'm going to add a little bit of pumpkin spice to this. And a little bit more ground cinnamon. I'm actually going to add some more cinnamon to my Brussels sprouts too. And then we're just going to mix it. So there you go, pumpkin aioli. And like I said, if you want to make it a little bit spicy, you can add some sriracha. Let's taste it. That's really good. Let's see if we dip one of our yum. Oh, that's delicious, guys. All right. So there we go, our Brussels sprouts and our pumpkin aioli. Now we're just waiting for our stuffing to come out of the oven, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like all plated up. Thank you for joining me in this video. I hope you go on and give me a thumbs up. Go down and hit the subscribe button. Make it turn um, from red to like whatever that gray color is. Leave me a comment and tell me what you guys are having for Thanksgiving. See you soon. All right, everyone, here it is. We got some sliced turkey with some gravy. We have some stuffing, yum. Some cinnamon Brussels sprouts with a pumpkin aioli. Look at this meal. Keto, fabulous. I hope that you guys enjoy. I hope that you guys will share my recipes, share my videos. And send any one of your friends that was interested in doing keto and thinks that it can't be delicious and healthy my way. Have a great night, everyone.